Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is October 29th, 2020, and we're doing a drop in math tutoring session number 62. Let's do a little bit of mathematics, open discussion. Okay. And as before, we've done a lot of these and uh, it's basically a drop in math tutoring. Anybody that needs any help in mathematics, mainly high school mathematics, uh, we do, we've done and we do uh, some elementary uh, preliminary stuff and we've gone into a little bit of post-secondary mathematics as well. And um, until math questions come up, basically open discussion, on all fronts to a certain degree, but we keep politics on politics streams. Uh, aside from that, welcome. Uh, I hope uh, you're looking forward to doing a little bit of mathematics. And uh, until we wait for notifications to go out for people to pop in, let me tell you who I am. Boyd, yo, let's go. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> you're speeding on Zalazin. <laughs> nice gang, I'm on Patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work box office i got notified awesome from uh, discord or twitch <coughs> box office i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y awesome twitch c-h-y-c-h-o uh if you want to know what this is all about this is about mathematics all of it okay it may not appear so based on some of the other live streams that we're doing but it is all layered on mathematics and my thesis basically is on patreon if you want to support this work if you want to follow this work patreon patreon it's a fantastic way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike you can follow the work and after a while if you think this work is worth supporting through funds Patreon is a great way to do so. Crafter, how are you doing? Good morning, good morning, and good afternoon. Good morning, Knights of Old Kame. You're around my area, so it's good morning for you as well. Nice, nice, nice. Lack of caring. Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. We are live streaming on Twitch. Twitch, Twitch. The chat that you see here, notifications going here. That's where we're at. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live, C H Y C H O L I B E. If you want to participate in the discussion in these live streams, Twitch is where you want to be. Okay. And for those of you who've been supporting this work through Twitch, subscribing, following, commenting, liking, coming onto this live streams, thank you very much for the support. And for those of you who've been supporting this work through Patreon, thank you very much for your support. It is in large part because of your supports that we're able to continue this work. Crafter, I'm taking a big two day break to hopefully get motivated again. Analysis is killing me. <coughs> From uh, school? Crafter? Elder God, I'm here, he says. <laughs> good, good, good. How are you doing? Chicho, hello again. Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? Taking a wild guess. Autumn Olive today. Autumn Olive today. Autumn olive. This has been my snack for the last week, and it's going to continue to be my snack for last week. This thing lasts. Uh, uh, it's lasts a while. Let's see if it's going to focus. I don't think it's going to focus here. Oh, there it is. Look at that beautiful autumn olive. Like seriously, like so beautiful. Look at the patterns there. I wonder if we can come up with a mathematical equation for that thing right and there's a lot of mathematics in nature right gang uh, and the mathematics of nature is absolutely brilliant right from studying outside of the classes i have oh from studying outside yeah it's a lot of people are a lot of pressure from the way school is set up right now right bartolo bartoliani hello hello again welcome to another live stream Zalatan, Zalatan, how are you doing? I just finished school. Time for some after laughter lessons. <laughs> nice. Hannah, how are you doing? Long time no see. Good morning, Chicho. I became addicted to cannabis, so I am taking a break for a month or two or longer. Awesome. Good idea, Hannah. I became very depressed. I do miss it, but I will move on and focus on my mental health. Yeah, Hannah. If you get if you find yourself addicted to anything, I don't care what it is, even autumn olives, take a break, right? 
super delicious. <laughs> Crazy tart. I hope you guys are munching on some good stuff. Okay. Box office. I need to know the probability of getting a buck deer yield. Buck deer year here in the Pacific Northwest. Next bull hunting season. <laughs> Increase my chances. We need to collect some data before we can do any uh, probably analysis on it, right? Box office. You got to give us data of how many arrows you shot uh, per year and how many buck deer you've been able to uh, hunt, I guess. And what do you do with the buck deer? Do you use it all up? I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on LO Minds, VK Parlor, Gap, and Twitter. You can follow the work there. And we do share additional information. Hannah, I went on a three hour walk and enjoyed the alone time away from the chaos of the world. So I will do it again today, over and over, even if it rains. Walking is my therapy. Yeah, Hannah, me too, man. Me too, 100%. It's amazing. Zero bucks, all dough. <laughs> oh, zero bucks, all dough. Okay. Hold on, dough is good? Uh, yeah, you want to eat dough, not buck, right? Diet Thug, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Zalatan, I have some buffalo chicken mac and cheese in the fridge. Buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Wow. Already prepped up? Is it leftover? Buffalo chicken mac cheese. Ooh. Buffalo chicken macaroni and cheese. So it's a casserole, it's not a sandwich. I was uh, all of a sudden I pictured the sandwich like a buffalo chicken burger, but mac and cheese. Yeah, it's uh, from noodles. Oh, nice. Diet Thug, my first sub in Twitch outside of my cousin. Woohoo! Ah, right on, Thug. Diet Thug, right on. I'm honored. Thank you. His mind is currently being blown. <laughs> His mind is currently being blown. <laughs> Funny. Box office. You want buck? Dough season is separate or fits under other criteria. It's all based on the numbers of previous seasons. Oh, wow, really? So there's got to be some serious uh, statistics, math, mathematics that uh, your state does to say, because I think they announce when hunting season begins for each one or if it's not going to begin, right? So they do definitely, um, you know, probability uh, rules our, our world right now right big data oh they got chicken buna has a 95 percent of selling out the other five percent is mine is that what you linked up in discord the picture i recently started eating dried figs and they are so good oh my god yeah for sure dried figs um, it's it's part of part of my routine it's all we almost always have dried figs, dried figs and dates. Those are two power foods we usually have. And man, fresh figs off the tree are brilliant, brilliant. Diet thug, my state, uh, my state. You can just order hunting and fishing licenses online. No class needed, really. Nothing. For the hunting, you must uh, show your permit for the guns and stuff, don't you? You must have a place to enter that in. <clears throat> I want to get back to cannabis. I really want to. At what point should I go back to it, Chicho? At you know, cannabis. I, if 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 zero, <laughs> there's zero things they need. Zero license for hunting. Mm, interesting. Wear very bright colors if you do go <laughs> hunting. <laughs> right as far as Hannah look if you find that you get addicted to something I don't recommend you going back to it because that means you have an addictive tendency to that thing in my opinion though whatever you're addicted to if you stop consuming it and if you're still craving it don't go back to it the only time you should go back to something that you found yourself to be addicted to is at a time when you don't crave it at all right and don't go into it hardcore you do a little sample maybe pie maybe whatever beer maybe and i don't think if you're if you find yourself you're an alcoholic you shouldn't go back to drinking period right and anything else that's my take right nope second amendment rights means rifles 
and not need it to be registered cool even for hunting i thought i figured you need but you apply for a hunting license yeah you get your number that's right box office yeah mine as well you buy a tag from the state and you need to submit your yield to the state upon taking the animal oh okay then they configure the rules for next season based on how many animals were taken on the previous okay so that's where the mathematics is coming in and i'm assuming there's a huge fines for people who don't uh, submit their yields what they ended up getting right because if they're not reporting it then the mathematics the statistics that the state is doing is flawed and that can seriously endanger the herd right <clears throat> he ate he hate me cannabis helps me manage my other addictions yeah for many by the way uh he hate me <laughs> oh my god the math was double speak how can i eat five percent of a probability what no but that's five percent chicken mon has a 95 percent 95 has a 95 percent of selling out hasn't you should have had 95 percent probability of selling out the other five percent as well no i think that works now you're confusing the crap out of me elder god find something healthy that replaces that high you're looking for i agree with young polax right yeah you should also have people that go rifle hunting in bow hunting season Ooh. i'm back with the mac <laughs> Zalatan says nice for live streams we don't have any visuals we do upload the audios to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as podcast mathematics we got visuals the audio for this most likely is not going to go well it's not going to go to soundcloud right away at some point in the future when i'm old and retired and have faster computers i'll process all the audio from these and load them up to soundcloud as podcasts and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this video to both bitshoot and youtube okay and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by following by liking by commenting by sharing and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership with a button here somewhere and for those of you who are supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support box office chicho has math naturally been easy to learn for you in your life or have you had to sit down and seriously study for the most part uh yeah i've sat down and studied for sure it's uh i'm not a savant i i put in the time to learn the math um, and i put in a lot of time to learn the math to be able to teach it right the math is the course the math courses i've taken are the ones that i've studied the most in my life like they were the they've been the one i there was one course i took at university where i studied 10 days for it okay between 12 to 14 hours a day like it was a heavy heavy course and i ended up getting like 57 percent on it or something i only got to after i don't know, I forget what it was four and a half hours of the test the final i only got to 70 percent of the core of the exam i didn't even get to the other 30 percent of the question and the guy didn't even bell curve it so i got 57 out of 70. so anybody that didn't get <laughs> at least 50 out of 70 ended up failing if they only got to 70 percent of the test right it was a crazy course what's on the math menu today my guy you know what i thought i'm just leaving it open i'm thinking about uh, uh you know planning up some lessons uh, it, i'm just hesitant on it right now because i know it just takes a little bit of extra work from my part and i'm crazy busy uh, but i can definitely do lessons i know all my lessons by heart uh by like i i just very much like a all the lessons that i have right and i link up everything together and whatnot right so i'm but basically this is drop in math tutoring i want to leave it open for discussion and because when questions come up in mathematics it may seem like someone wants to just learn how to like for example factor but that links up to polynomials that links up to 
uh, quadratics that links up to maximizing revenue minimum maximizing area and all that jazz right so depending on how where the questions lead us uh, we deal with it accordingly right I just want to I just want to make sure it's uh, dynamic enough uh, and flexible enough to uh, to help people out Hannah thank you Chicho on another uh, and on another my grandpa has a 40 foot tall fig to see him climb up on a ladder at age 88 is scary but this but he swears he needs to do it and he's safe okay you should give him a hand brother that class sounds like my worst nightmare it was hardcore man I'm very happy to have done it odd oh, Meg how are you doing welcome welcome hey Chicho can't stay for long hope you're having a nice day thank you very much odd Meg. Uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day as well uh, box of I think it's an illusion that math comes easily to anyone anyone who's uh, good at it has had had to had to work hard yeah I mean that's the kicker right like people uh, look it, if if you're if you're taking courses if you're in school and everything's coming easy for you you're not living okay <laughs> that's like life if everything in life comes easy for you you're not really living you're just existing you're not challenging yourself you're not bettering yourself you're just doing things that are easy just imagine when you learn how to read for the first time right you know you you picked up books that like big letters and few pages with pictures and you read those to read heavier books it took time you have to have look words up to figure out what they meant just imagine if you never did that you'd be stuck in the realm of jill and jack walk up the hill or whatever it was right i struggle in pre-algebra so i mean polynomials and etc i'm extremely lost uh, the way you have to think about polynomials is just the easiest type of functions uh, mathematical models that we have for things that we observe in the real world that's what polynomials are right all of mathematics functions and whatnot all of mathematics has been has, has come to be for us to better understand the world around us and the simplest types of functions that we have uh, and other people may correct me on this but simplest types of functions that we have that we can analyze in the world are polynomial functions because they're continuous functions right there's no breaks there's no holes there's no point there's no gaps there's no asymptotes right there's no restrictions right aside from whatever the system uh, whatever restrictions the system functions under right best goatee onto it super metal <laughs> so micro twist awesome thanks yeah <laughs> If you, yeah fun facial hair rocks man let me grow my beard i have the best beard on twitch as well i've never done i don't think i've done live streams with my beard it's always been the goatee since we started live streaming on twitch maybe i'm just lazy with math the box office it takes effort man it takes effort Ianor, how are you doing what get me ab uh, what get me about math it's really abstract mm, it's uh, how so i i find uh the mathematics is very it you could go abstract for sure but it's also very tangible like it's extremely tangible like look at statistics you take data from the real world analyze it and get parameters for that data set you understand what the population or the sample size is doing right and from understanding what the sample size is doing you understand what the population is doing that's not what you call it that's not abstract that's as tangible as it gets right so it really depends box office not lazy i think you probably had a bad experience or a bad teacher odd mix says and i agree with her uh it's easy to be discouraged because math is another language that's hard for humans to learn yeah initially anyway once you understand some of the preliminary stuff it's easy 
it's like ABC do it micro twist says yeah I will at some point grow back the beard again Quentin Wolf how are you doing do you think someone with a full-time job can self-study math yeah nothing too complex just to understand the world around them better yeah 100% Quinn Wolf I mean that's to a certain degree what I did I started tutoring mathematics to get me to relearn mathematics and I just fell in love with it again and or fell in love with it really understood it and then I just stumbled into just teaching it right Zalatan I feel like the main reason that people mess up with math is that they don't take their time yeah and that's that's in huge part uh, the fault of the system right the education system because they give people grades they grade you they mark you which is to a certain degree legit you need to know if you did something right or wrong but not the way they apply it right and then they put you under the clock so if you're if all of a sudden the concept of mathematics uh, makes sense to you right when you're sitting in class and you go oh wow I get it and then you're working on a problem the bell rings and say move on to history now all of a sudden you have to stop your train of thought and go learn something else now coming back to that train of thought and picking it up again man that might be impossible to do if or very difficult to do right so it's in huge part the fault of our current education system the reason why we're having so many hiccups so much problems with it Otnik, I think I read somewhere that pigeons of all things have more intuition than humans in terms of probability like they solve the Monty Hall problem easier than people seriously Otnik? that's cool pigeons the flying flying rats really uh, if you live in if you live in a city where there's lots of pigeons they're like flying rats they they poop everywhere <laughs> they're dirty they eat anything <laughs> true north 93 a guy i sat next to was ga gaming uh heart hearth stone in every class in college and aced everything well good on him maybe he was gaming in school and going home and studying his ass off right I thought I did much better with math when it was applied to chemistry and physics classes not sure why though because you could apply it you could see it you could visualize it right and that's the trick you have to be able to if you want to appreciate the power of mathematics you have to apply it somewhere right micro twist box office math is an art form you need to practice to be good at for example like a martial arts you need to practice a lot and time and time and time again to understand it like painting math is not like gym class where you need to be present to get a good grade you need to practice it to be good at it yeah and uh, by the way this uh, micro twist some people do poorly in gym class because they're not wired geared for it right so they have to put in a lot of hard work I've met people that they hate gym class they find gym the hardest class they have right so even people taking gym class some people it doesn't come naturally so they have to put a lot of hard work into it to do well in it mathematics the same deal right box office to Odnik, uh, I think you're right it makes a lot of sense to micro twist micro twist I ate tasty pigeons in Egypt really good really <laughs> they eat they eat a lot there they eat a lot there wow oh my god I love that my pre advert was for a fender guitar was it cool that's cool odd like actually have you all gone over the Monty Hall problem before it's really fun the Monty Hall problem that's the one with the three doors right odd Nick? We covered it once during a live stream. It's a three door one, right? I think so. I want to lay it out for us if it's a three door one. I, I know I try to do this through by memory and then I have to. Because when you're trying to solve problems, math problems, 
it's not really um, the most important part is how the problem is phrased right it's how the problem is phrased if you miss one word in the phrasing of the problem then the problem doesn't make sense so I know I tried to do it by memory once and it, I messed up in some part of phrasing it but I'll try it again Monty Hall problem this is the one where uh, there was a call there was a show uh, share the pick of the math equation I need to work in discord I need for work in discord yeah it is a three door the three door problem okay that thought what's the equation you need to work uh, for work in discord uh, can you post it here the three door problem there's a game there's a game show TV TV game show that was aired I think in the 1970s 60s 70s 80s in the 80s for sure where it was let's make a deal it was called let's make a deal where there's three doors all right door number one door number two and door number three right and you're this guy and here's the host let's put a bob hat on the host <laughs> <laughs> you do that's like a car on the guy's head <laughs> there you go that's the host right can you guys ever see this is that dark enough i should press more right the game show thing the game show thing okay cool you're on a game show oh admin got it for us okay awesome i'm gonna read that okay let me do this so it's dark enough so you're on a game show and they're giving you a choice i'm going to read this read odd mix thing kevin say is 21. uh it looks like a shoe <laughs> being stomped on so here's the question right you're on a game show where the host has put a prize in one of three doors door a door b and door c you pick door a but then the host reveals uh, reveals that there is nothing behind door C and you ask if you want to switch to door B should you right so let's call these door A and B B consistent with the question so door A door B and door C right so you have a choice of picking this one this one or that one to get the prize right you pick this one so you say this guy you pick that one right right now what's the probability of you having the prize what's the probability of the prize being here okay as soon as I see the first answer I'll continue okay hello from Ireland Grillim Gr 1995 hello hello welcome welcome micro twist chicho are you a math professor or an engineer um, I'm a, my background is geophysics with a math minor I worked as a geophysicist and I've been teaching mathematics for like 20 years not a prof no I'm not an academic um, not that there's anything wrong with it but I haven't gone that down that path picking an another has a higher percentage of having it 30 yeah cool so 33 percent one third so your probability so the right now if you pick this the probability of the prize being an a probability of a containing the prize is one out of three right which is 33.3 percent right what's the probability of the prize being in here what's the probability of the prize being in here no I'm not a genius that's for sure so what's the probability of the prize being in B and C what's the probability of the prize being in B and C right two-thirds yeah two two-thirds this is before the whole shows you that is that guy right so it's two-thirds two over three which is 66.6 .6 percent 
percent right now there's something called uh, wouldn't it be the same probability oh I see no because before the whole showed showed it to you the price could have been here 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 so each one of these the probability was a third right one third so if this one was in here it'd be one out of three and this one would be two out of three two-thirds right now the host says it's not in there right and there's something called conditional probability and the conditional probability states this I should have left my more room so the question would be what's the probability of oh, I gotta remember my probability how, how to how to state this what's the probability of the prize being in B given that uh, not in C not in C or A I guess uh, no given that it's not in C yeah given that it's not in C 50 50 50 50 was going 50 50 it, oh my god I gotta look up the answer so the question is if it's not here let's kill this so if it's not here and the the game is this right as soon as the host says it's not in here he gives you the opportunity to change your choice and he says okay it's not in C now do you want to take B instead of C and instead of staying with a right variable change variable change to a certain degree right so he asks you now that I shown you that it's not in C would you like to change your vote and pick B or do you want to stay with a what's your answer and what's the probability this one's not working well what's the probability of it being here and being here right is he tricking you though can uh, could still be uh, in it uh, it's got to be in one of these yeah they don't trick you it's got to be in one of these right this is a simple mind trick to make them think about it too hard no actually there was a woman everybody used to say that yeah this was uh 50 50 now and i think everyone used to say that you should change your vote because this was uh, a third when the initial conditions were set but this here was two-thirds so you should go with the two-thirds to a certain degree or it, no everyone was saying it was 50 50 and then there was a female mathematician okay i believe she was a female mathematician that wrote an in-depth article on this right and i believe she published it in a newspaper or maybe Otmik would know this uh, published it in uh, either a journal or a newspaper i can't i can't remember Otmik. changing your role gives you 50 percent rather than 33 percent it's more favorable to change the vote because the condition has change but you made your choice at the beginning of the condition right and she wrote an article taught analyzing this and saying that it was a good idea i'm going to read Otmik's comment the answer is 66 percent because the probability of it being in either b and c is still 66 percent c being empty means that there is a 66 percent chance of it being in b right so initial conditions it was a third and 66 so this probability hasn't changed because you already let's say you looked in this one first right so she wrote this article and mathematicians across the world started trash talking her right saying that oh she didn't know mathematics because she was wrong because the condition was now 50 50 and stuff like this and she went through it and did the proof saying no this is still 66 percent here right or 66.6% 6 this is still two-thirds probability because here let me do it with this one this was a third one out of three but this was two out of three so her advice was always choose the other door okay if they show you one and it's not there and now you're down to two always switch to the next or if there was three here or four here and they show you it's not a one always switch your vote it's a better probability of obtaining uh, getting the prize right 
you should always change because the chance of you picking the wrong door the first time is higher yeah and that's a good way of saying it actually true north right odd makers right void says I'm 100% right. <laughs> no, says, yep. <laughs> I'm just lurking, listening, taking in the lesson. Hope you're well. Rafa Lion, welcome, welcome. And I hope you're enjoying the discussion. I think the woman was an amateur who posted it in a call, uh, uh, columnist magazine. It's crazy that she wasn't a mathematician. Yeah, well, she wasn't a mathematician. Are we sure about this, Otmik? All, uh, all I remember from the story regarding the mathematics aspect of it were was that mathematicians were saying how stupid it was and trash talking the article and the and the observation and then later on mathematicians did the analysis they're like oh yeah she's right and that proves one huge thing in academia or in established thought patterns of our society that even the greatest dogmas in the world supported by the by the specialists and the and the what do you call it the the experts the authority can be wrong right don't fall into dogmas right so you should go be you should go be yeah okay i'm gonna i'm gonna process uh, process tech uh, in injection molding and I do die uh, setting as well we have to make sure our chains are rated for the weight of the die so it's the length of the chain divided by the height from the tool to the center point of the chains equals the angle of the chains times half the width equals X X X being the total <laughs> force being applied to each of so in other words one l over h is equal to a times one half w equals x that's a mouthful die thug you would have to understand all the variables here statistical success Albert god says i'm actually confused i missed the first part the, basically you had a choice to pick between three doors right and you chose a the host comes up and so there was a prize behind each door, right? The host comes up and says, okay, you chose A, there's two places that it could be. They show you C and they say it's not there. So what's the probability of the prize being in A or in B now, right? And the answer is it's still 66% in B because initial conditions was it was 66% that it was in either one of these. So just because it's not there, it just kicks this up the probability of it i'm back you broad street bullies i have to go down and buy some swedish tacos tobacco swedish tobacco micro twist by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs apologies if i'm missing them right i remember she had an iq higher than einstein did she uh cj did she have a huge iq the person who wrote this article hello what were uh, they wrong about they were wrong about the probability being because they showed C didn't have the prize they changed the probability and said oh the probability must be 50 50 now but it wasn't right because the choice was made the separation was made right odd make 100% sure I think her not being a mathematician is one of the reasons everyone thought she was wrong oh is that why okay she didn't have the credentials right crazy 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 void hook to that dog i did armory works on uh, scoops and red dots scopes and red dots i thought zeroing scopes were rough so it's just zeroing the instrument is that what it is odd nick yeah uh maybe but einstein never took an iq test and general relativity should be more than enough evidence that he was a genius <laughs> he was a great manager odd mick i consider uh einstein to be a great communicator okay uh, imagine thinking women are less intelligent than men is that what michael said women have lower iq like, what who said that <laughs> micro twist <laughs> you yeah what do you call it i think you're making fun of things right 
but anyway that's funny uh as far as einstein's concerned uh, a great book is uh that i read was amir something it's called god's equation and it explains goes about how einstein came up with the theory of relativity and how he was able to prove the theory of relativity because he had an amazing imagination and he was a great communicator and he was a good manager because the mathematics was from what i understand more powerful than uh what einstein knew the physics was more powerful than what einstein knew and einstein didn't have the technical capabilities to collect the data to do the measurements right so he communicated with experts in these fields that got his theory tightened up his theory and he communicated with someone that went up went to i think they went to south america they went up to the mountains and they were there for three days or some island they were there for three days and it was all cloudy they were trying to get the reading of a certain star right and they couldn't they didn't have a night sky right it was all uh overcast and on the last day in the last hour or something last night last hour or something they were able to take their measurements maybe it's folklore and they proved einstein's theory of relativity if those measurements weren't taken okay then einstein's theory of relativity probably wouldn't have come to light for a few years later right which is super cool i thought it was super cool yeah i get it bibzer says r we getting trolled yeah <laughs> possibly <laughs> gender has nothing to do with intelligence <laughs> anybody that thinks that uh irrelevant of their gender they're dum-dums right jc uh, or cj cj you should only switch if the opportunity to do so is offered in every game otherwise the producers are trying to get you off of a mm, maybe maybe not maybe maybe not when i was a kid i watched that and they gave the opportunity and all of a sudden you saw things happen right the person shouldn't have switched the person should have switched hey man i take your job Oddmic, a more intuitive way to think of think of it is this you are on a game show and have to pick between 100 doors you pick door one the host reveals that door two to 99 are empty should you switch to door 100 yes because there's a 99 percent chance it is in door 100 odd mick i've never even thought about it that way that is a brilliant way to explain it that is a brilliant way to explain it awesome i'm gonna start using that by the way okay copyright odd mick <laughs> oh, that's a great way of explaining it actually i like it saying higher iq than einstein is meaningless but she's very smart nonetheless to see this problem very smart right very real right because she wasn't an, an academic probably she was thinking in terms of how systems work right in the real world That's very nice. but the mean is same as men's deringer i don't know about this woman's iq has less variance but the mean is same as men's i I, I don't think there's any data supporting this or not. Uh, Oddmic would know, maybe. Someone might know, but I doubt it very much. Then how is a woman having a lower IQ than men? Because it is both higher and lower. Relevant to someone saying Marilyn had a, a Marilyn had a higher IQ than Einstein. Funny. Diet, dog, void. Uh, to void. I mean, you'll know right away if you're wrong when you lift the die and a chain snaps oof, right away so you're never unsure aha uh -huh, he laughs if a chain snaps man you're in trouble if there's especially if there's tension on it if if there's any type of string chain wire that has tension and it snaps jump on the ground and duck and cover your head because that thing's gonna take somebody out right chicho bits a bit storm sorry off topic but ordered some autumn autumn plants really two variety ruby and garnet apparently they cross pollinate delivery is in a january nice awesome 
Autumn olives. Autumn olives. Look at this beautiful thing. Look at this thing. Look at that thing. I'm going to munch on you since it came up. Super delicious. Tart. Anna says, nearly every woman that I've met is smarter than me. I can honestly tell you that as a man, uh, women mature way faster than men or boys, right? Uh, there were a lot of very mature, worldly women that I knew when I was in my 20s, but almost every man that I knew, including myself, was a dingling. <laughs> IQ, IQ is a gift for the benefit of all mankind, Elder God says. Yo, Chicho, I have a nice question. Can you sketch? Sure, let's sketch it. Let's sketch a quadratic. So we want to sketch f of x is equal to negative x to the power of 2 plus 7x plus 25. So f of x is equal to negative x squared plus 7x plus 25. Better write it down right. Yeah, I believe so. Cool. It's a quadratic. It's a quadratic. It is indeed. Um, Starsky. Da, 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 da. I'm going to scroll down. Yay, Autumn Olives. Yes, the vast majority. Uh, Daniel Gurr. Yes, the vast majority of test stats consistently show women have lower. <laughs> These aren't just my speculations, by the way. Uh, furthermore, it's replicated across different cultures. Men have a larger variance on most measures than women because of evolutionary benefit. What? I don't know. I think we're being trolled, man. The Welsh Dragon 200 was wondering when your next politics stream is. Would love to hear your thoughts on Jeremy Corbyn. Oh, we talked about Jeremy Corbyn when he was running, by the way. Uh, so next politics one, in the next set, we're going to do one. Most likely in a couple of weeks, uh, the Welsh Dragon. Okay. Uh, you guys, UK would have been way better off, <laughs> the odds are, if you guys chose jeremy corbyn instead of the clown right <coughs> i sure as hell was a dumb dumb in my 20s yeah me too that's so true for me now i'm a trolling daniel girl says well let's <coughs> let's read odd mix comment <coughs> i th i think so but he's he's uh He's not spamming, he's trying to argue a case, but arguing a mathematical case <laughs> on a math live stream that has no merit, um, it's just not gonna work. By the way, uh, Daniel Gurr, you're totally welcome to go to our Discord page and link scientific research that you think state what you are stating, right? But as far as I'm concerned I doubt it very much okay an odd mix response to you is it's wrong there's less variance but personally I am very very jaded against people saying men are smarter than women in one way or another 100% and the variance who like knowing so knowing statistics what's the what's the questions that they're asking where were the surveys done who did the surveys who collected the data who does the interpretation like there are differences between men and women right but in terms of intelligence hell no <laughs> like, the intelligence of a human being does not depend on their gender it depends on their opportunities on their diet on social structures on many 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 things right and none of them are related to their gender unless you're talking about how society treats people that are different genders than men right 
in certain cultures women aren't allowed to go to school in certain cultures women are women are objectified in a big way all right so it has it doesn't have anything to do with the gender it's about the social structure of things right it's called a very the hypothesis link it up on our discord it's because men are more likely to be born with down down syndrome or autism etc uh, more men on the tail ends of intelligence are is there otmic i maybe now what is that related to is that because a lot of men work in environments uh, i don't know you know what i'm not even going to speculate on what this might be right i'm not even going to speculate on that front it could be a gazillion different things and i doubt if on the high end of the uh of the of the distribution you see more men with higher intelligence because maybe in the academic world it has been men that have been given the opportunity to excel in in their academia academic lives right depending on their opportunities that they had we're as we talked about this a little bit in uh, the entheogen stream we're just coming out of the dark ages we are clueless and what are the things that they're measuring right are they just measuring their engineering skills right or are they measuring their communal structural skills right like family ability uh compassion like that compassion empathy requires intelligence okay really it really does because you have to know thyself and the other to have that that connection right let's leave the politics for now bro. let's leave the let's grab a quadratic this thing gets my goat uh it gets gets me a little riled up as well f of x is equal to this we want to graph this thing now this is a quadratic okay uh, to its cause but in terms of modern day tests it does exist uh, daniel girl since you brought these since you mentioned this modern day tests suck ass okay our education system is horrendous centralized controlled garbage and the test that they give people is pure garbage okay so based on a garbage system a giving people garbage tests yes <laughs> it's, it's i can definitely tell you it is 100 percent flawed odd make chicho i was saying that uh, daniel girl was right it's because women are born with double x chromosomes that cover up more genetic defects while x y chromosomes don't cover that up is that is that it odd make that's cool i did link up some articles for us man or people <laughs> right. link up some article for us on discord we could take a look at it right I don't know the biology I didn't do well in biology uh, I it, it, I like the math right and the physics and the chemistry take a look at this thing if we want to graph this thing there's a couple of ways we can graph this by the way okay I'm gonna show you two ways to graph a quadratic let me make this darker you know what I'm gonna grab another pen let's find a pen that's nice and dark that you see nope that's not it no i don't like that either what's this one? Oh, that's not bad what's this one? Oh, that's definitely not good let's use the purple okay let me try one more did i try that one no dark green oh that's not bad either okay we'll keep the dark green we're gonna do dark green again okay I'm gonna erase this. So I'm gonna erase this again. Let's write it out. F of x. F of x is equal to negative x squared plus seven x plus twenty-five. <laughs> That's words. <laughs> Jeeves. What the Oh there we go. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice that's nice f of x right awesome that came out good uh odd make i am also only taking 
uh, talking explicitly about IQ tests. To be honest, I 100% think the conclusion is a bullshit as the race science that says black people are dumber because they have lower IQ. It's silly and it's because women don't have the same opportunities as men. How many women like uh, Miriam, Mira, Mira Zakhani haven't been mathematicians because of sexism? 100%. And the person uh, Odnik is referring to is the only, Odnik, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, the only mathematician to win the medal, the, the world mathematical medal. Uh, what's it called? I forget what it's called. Odnik, please let me know. I'm <laughs> filling the blank. And she was an Iranian, right? The field medal, right? And Odnik is the one that. Um, informed me of this right a year ago two years ago right that's a heated topic boy heated topic well i'm gonna avoid it void i'm gonna avoid that topic i'm moving on to uh, graphing quadratics now take a look at this thing we're gonna graph this thing using completing the square and then we're gonna graph it using finding the x-intercepts if there are x-intercepts okay and there will be x-intercepts for this completing the square this is what you do you guys enjoy your conversation i'm gonna graph a quadratic when you're completing the square this is what you want to do you got a quadratic write it in descending order take the x squared term take the x term put them in brackets right now what you want to do is get whatever is in front of the x squared term out to the, in front of the bracket right if this was just one then you leave it alone there's nothing there right it's just a one anything other than one you need to get it out of there right so when you have a negative here it's actually negative one so you're gonna grab the negative and bring it out of the bracket so now what we have is negative x squared now because you're putting it in front of the bracket and the bracket contains both these terms you have to adjust this to compensate for the negative in the front so what you really end up doing is you take this term and divide it by whatever you took out right so divide this by negative one so the sign changes it becomes negative 7 x plus 25 right then what you do well, there's Nassim Nicholas Taleb coming up has some good articles refuting the validity of IQ tests but I've yet to read them uh, Daniel uh, Daniel Gur IQ tests I've never taken an IQ test and I never will take an IQ test because the IQ tests are really question dependent I think IQ tests are garbage to tell you the truth literally they're garbage I don't recommend my students taking IQ tests when they bring up IQ test scores I go oh it doesn't really mean anything to me all right IQ tests are garbage uh, but thanks for letting us know that Nassim Nicholas Taleb has written articles about how bad IQ tests are because they're culturally focused right to enlarge they say they're not but they are right then what you do in completing the square you take this guy whoop, the number in front of the X term okay and remember one of the mantras in mathematics is the sign in front of the number goes with the number right so this isn't seven it's negative seven you take this number out, out out of here and you divide it by two now if you can reduce this you do you can't reduce seven negative seven divided by two it's just negative 3.5 but i like working with fractions right that way i don't need to use a calculator to do things right so you if you can reduce it you reduce it if you can't you take this number and square it you get 49 over 4 right now that's the process you do whenever you take whatever number was here bring it higher divide it by 2 square it you get that then you're gonna add and subtract this guy inside the brackets and you're adding and subtracting 49 because you can't just take a function and add a number to it the only number that you can add to a function without changing it is number zero right so if you add 49 over 4 and you subtract 49 over 4 you're adding zero right so this becomes negative x squared minus 7x plus 49 over 4 minus 49 over 4 plus 25 okay now what's the sum of this it's zero 
right? So you're not adding, you're not changing the value of the original function. You're just adding zero. This could be there or could not be there. It doesn't change anything up. But we're manipulating it to turn this thing into a perfect square. Okay. I need to get going, Chicho. Odd oh, makes sense. Have a nice rest of the stream. You have a fantastic day, Odd make And thank you for the discussions and the info, by the way. Appreciate it very much. Now, what you're going to do is do this take the negative one, the one you subtracted out of the bracket. Right? So you're going to take the one that's minus in front, you're going to take it out of the bracket. Now, if this is coming out of the bracket, whatever's in front of the bracket has to multiply it, right? Because it's a, it's a gatekeeper, right? Anything that's inside has to, before, when it's leaving, it has to multiply whatever's in the front. So this thing comes out, multiplies negative one, because this is a one, really, negative one, times negative one. This guy here is now a perfect square. Perfect square means this. What are two numbers? Here, let me show you simplified perfect square. X squared plus 4X plus 4. So whenever you have a quadratic, when you're trying to factor it, you're asking yourself, what are two things that multiply to give you this number and add to give you this number? Multiply to give you the third number, the constant by itself, and add to give you the coefficient in front of the X term, right? Well, two numbers that multiply to give you four and add to give you four or two times two. So two, so X plus two, X plus two. And we've done a lot of videos on factoring and stuff like this, right? So look into uh, series 3A and 3B of the language of mathematics that we have on our YouTube channel. And there is... A lot of videos there explaining how to do factor and quadratics and stuff right so if you multiply this out you would get that out this is a perfect square because it's the same thing multiplied by itself right so this guy factored becomes x plus 2 squared oops x plus 2 squared because x plus 2 times x plus 2 gives you that that's what a perfect square is right so what are two numbers that multiply to give you 49 over 4 and add to give you negative 7. Oh, difficult, difficult, right? What are two numbers that multiply to give you 49 over 4 and add to give you negative 7? You don't even have to think about this. It's this guy right here. It's negative 7 over 2. Negative 7 over 2 times negative 7 over 2 is 49 over 4. Negative 7 over 2 plus negative 7 over 2 is negative 7. Okay, that's the reason we circle this because we're using it. All right, when you're doing completing the square, circle this, circle this because you're using both of them. This one you're dropping here, here, and here, and this one is this factored. So, in one shot, you're going to write this negative bracket x minus 7 over 2 times x minus 7 over 2, which is really just x minus 7 over 2 squared and you're gonna go negative 49 over 4 times 1 is plus 49 over 4 so this is gonna be plus 25 plus 49 over 4 now all you got to do is just add those two guys now right if you're adding two guys you need a common denominator here we can do it on the side 25 that's positive 25 plus 49 over 4 common denominator is 4 4 times, because that's over 1, 4 times 25 is 100 plus 49. So this becomes negative x minus 7 over 2 squared plus 149 over 4. Right? Now to save us space, I'm just going to erase this and put 149 over 4. Right? Because we're going to graph it in, in the bottom here. Okay? So this becomes positive or plus 149 over 4 plus 149 over 4 this is what f of x says this is the same as this is the same as this is the same as that they're all saying the same thing they're all the same functions just expressed differently 
right? Now, why did we take this and rewrite it in this form? Because this is the form we can write things in quadratic functions to be able to graph them easily. Okay, it's like saying equation of a line. Now, if you're into quadratics, you already know what an equation of a line is, right? Equation of a line is y is equal to mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y intercept, right? So if I give you y is equal to 2 over 3x plus 3, okay then what you do is you read this as a sentence, and this is a sentence, it's instructions, right? The sleeping fox three, hello, hello. It's just instructions telling you what to do, how to graph this function. And what it tells you what to, how to do this is, you go to the y-intercept, one, two, three, and then from the y-intercept, you do the slope, rise over run. One, two, one, two, three. You just graph the equation of a line, okay? Now, quadratics, quadratics have the same thing, same kind of sentence that tells you, gives you the instructions of how to graph them, okay? Hey, may I ask what's two plus two? Oh God, <laughs> two plus two is a maximum of four. Here, we'll do a little sidetrack, ready for this? Here's two plus two. Are we talking about vectors? If you're talking about vectors, if you have magnitude two vector going in this direction, magnitude two vector going in this direction, you add those guys up, you get zero, right? Or do you have two going this way, and then you attach another two over here, then this plus this is gonna be four. And you have every number between zero and four. Tomorrow it might be negative one. Right? More important question, how do you graph a quadratic? Lacking, okay. Yes, please, vectors. Vectors are fun. <laughs> so quadratic graph of the parabola is this. f of x is equal to ax minus p squared plus q. This is your general, not your general, but your vertex form of writing a quadratic function okay what this means is this a is your stretch factor and your flip factor p and q are your vertex so what this says is this if we're going to read it off let's read it off and give all the points and graph this this thing says the vertex of a parabola is the opposite sign of this and the same sign of that so this becomes 7 over 2 and 149 over 4. So that's where the parabola, and the parabola looks like either like this or like this, right? That's what a parabola is. Okay. When you throw a projectile, if, you, if I throw this, I go, woo, it's going to go like a parabola. All projectiles fly like parabolas, right? So what is this? 7 over 2 is 3.5 two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven three and a half right and your vertex is 149 divided by four what's 149 divided by four let's do long division 149 four doesn't go into one but it goes into 14 four goes into 14 three times three times four is 12 subtract you get two bring down the nine four goes into 29 seven times so that's 28 that's one so 37 and a quarter so 149 over 4 is equal to 37 and 1 over 4 right yeah 37.25 a quarter is 0.25 because you take one and divide it by four right so 37 and a quarter now these are all one ticks i'm going to make these ticks uh fives five ten fifteen twenty 25 30 35 40 right so we're at three and a half and 37 and a quarter so that's 35 here's 37 and a quarter okay that's the vertex okay. <laughs> so 
that's our vertex that's the word a parabola turns down because this is negative so if there's plus if the number up here was positive it would turn up since it's negative it flips down so we know that the parabola goes down okay now find your y-intercept 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 is when x is equal to zero because on the y-axis x is zero right if, because this is your x values and this is your f of x right if that's one two three four five six seven that's zero and that's negative one negative two so when x is zero you're on the y-axis what's our y-intercept our y-intercept you can graph from here or you can sub and zero here if you sub and zero here you're gonna have to go zero minus seven over two negative seven over two squared and then you figure out what that is and you add it to this and you got lots of work go to the original and sub in f of sub in x is equal to zero well that becomes zero that becomes zero so your y intercept is 25. so y intercept is f of zero is equal to 25. so our y intercept is here right so let's do that for now now parabolas are symmetrical I use Gaussian curvature to explain to my younger brother why folded pizza doesn't drop and I think I broke his brain <laughs> did you at least give him some pizza so one thing that happens with parabolas is parabolas are symmetrical right on the symmetrical basically means ideally like a, if you're going to draw draw a perfectly symmetrical person if you draw a line right down the middle their ears are going to be the same distance apart their eyes are going to be the same distance apart right so symmetrical means one side is equivalent to the other side right you can flip it along its axes right so for a parabola its axis of symmetry we call that aos axis of symmetry axis of symmetry is x is equal to just the x part of the vertex 7 over 2. x is equal to 3.5 is the line that is symmetrical for a parabola so here's our axis of symmetry right. got it so this line here is x is equal to 7 over 2. so our parabola we can graph it right now by the way we can at least go through the y-intercept if we graph it goes like this now we don't know where it crosses the x-axis yet right so hold off on that it makes so much sense the very definition of beauty the very definite and we get attracted to it right human beings were attracted to symmetry right there's a lot of theories based on this there's people that do analysis in elections and say the most symmetrical face in most elections usually ends up winning more often than not right which is crazy so take a look at this thing if this is an axis of symmetry how far away is the y-intercept from the axis of symmetry the y-intercept is sitting at the not uh, the y-intercept or the axis of symmetry is seven over two away from the y-intercept right so this distance here is 3.5 7 over 2 so if you go another same distance here you end up at seven so where are we one two three four five five six seven here so it's going to be here so i'm going to give you the coordinates so you see what's going on here this point here is yeah exactly rafa live right as a sixth grader i don't know what this means but at least i'm learning at least you're learning good stuff the sleeping fox three daniel i think thurston said that symmetry is a way of humans understanding things too big to comprehend possibly possibly so this point here is zero and seven over two. Oh no it's not seven over two zero and 25 right here let me write this bigger so you guys see it zero zero and 25 that's this point here this point here is going to be 3.5 plus 3.5 which is going to be 7 and 
25. So we found the mirror point of the y-intercept, right? Now, the only other thing we need to really find is our x axis, right? There are other parameters you can give here. You can say, oh, um, what do you call it? Uh, the axis of symmetry, it opens down, opens down. It has a maximum value, maximum of, um, oh, this point here. This point here is 7 over 2 and 149 over 4. It has a maximum value of 149 over 4. Maximum value of 149 over 4 when x is equal to 7 over 2. Da, 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 da. The domain of this thing is what are all the possible x values? Well, if this thing goes on forever, the domain is the element of the reals. The range of this thing, range, is what are all the possible y values? The y values is the highest y value and everything less. So y is less than or equal to 149 over 4. So now we need to find the x-intercept. We can find the x-intercept. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's okay, the sleeping fox. I hope everything's okay. No need to apologize. Elder God, age is just a number. Age is just a number. What Elder God? You make me feel old. <laughs> oh, that's why, Elder God. He doesn't, uh, the sleeping uh, fox doesn't make me feel old. See the goatee? It doesn't make me feel old. Uh, as uh, who says Starsky, Elder God, age is just a number. It's just a number. Yeah. It's, uh, I've had some amazing conversations with some of my students that would blow away uh, the conversations I've had with some of my peers in my age, right? They'd be like, oh, what? They, they wouldn't understand what some of my students are talking about, which I'm very, very grateful for. Uh, youth processing speed is insane. <laughs> really, the generation is coming up. True, but 11 years old was a lifetime ago. Yeah multiple lifetimes ago elder god i'm guessing right so now the only thing we need to find is the x-intercepts right the x-intercepts like for example when are you on the x-axis you're on the x-axis when y is equal to zero right so all you got to do is set y f of x is your y equal to zero right so if we set z we could set y is equal to zero here and isolate the x or we can set y is equal to zero here and factor that thing. Now that thing doesn't factor easily, so we would have to use a quadratic formula, right? Or we do it here. Let's do it here. I'm gonna do this here, here, okay? So you guys see it. And I'm not bending down and writing really small. So check it out, check it out. So if we wanna find out when this function crosses the x-axis you set f of x is equal to zero so you set this equal to zero right and this equal to zero so zero and i'm going to set it equal to zero here is equal to negative x minus 7 over 2 squared plus 149 over 4. i hope you guys can see that good enough i think we're going to grab this guy bring it over so this becomes negative 149 over 4 is equal to negative x minus 7 over 2 squared. We're going to multiply everything by negative 1, or we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1 or divide by negative 1 to get rid of this negative and get rid of the negative in front of the brackets, right? So if you multiply everything by negative 1 or divide everything by negative 1, this becomes positive and that guy's gone. So this is going to be 149 over 4 is equal to x minus 7 over 2 squared. We're trying to get to the x. We're basically peeling a banana, right? So all you do now is you square root both sides. If you take the square root of this, the bottom is going to be 2 and 149. It's not perfect square, so I'm just going to leave it as a square root of 149, right? And square root of anything is plus and minus, right? So for if I write down what's the square root of 4, if you say the square root of 4 is just 2, that's half your marks. Square root of 4 is plus and minus 2, right? Plus and minus 2. Keep that in mind. The even root of any number is plus and minus, right? Plus and minus. So this becomes 
here I'm gonna erase this part so we have room to work it becomes plus and minus square root of 149 over 2 is equal to x minus 7 over 2 and then I'm gonna grab the 7 over 2 and bring it over so x our x intercept is going to be 7 over 2 plus and minus square root of 149 over 2 okay let me draw separator here so we realize that this is side work right so we can take that and say the x intercepts x ints are x is equal to and they're both over 2 so I can combine those guys the bottoms right x is equal to 7 plus or minus square root of 149 over 2. Now what does that mean? That means this. First of all, do you see the 7 over 2? What does that remind you of? What does that remind you of? 7 over 2. What is that? What is that, gang? What's 7 over 2? It's on the graph. What is it? Right? 7 over 2. It's our axis of symmetry, is it not? Is this line here? Right? That's 7 over 2. X is equal to 7 over 2. So what this means is from the axis of symmetry, it means 7 over 2, the sleeping fox. Awesome, by the way. <laughs> it means 7 divided by 2, 3.5. But what is this meaning based on the graph? It's our axis of symmetry. Because this thing is symmetrical across the Y, the horizontal line, it had to open my I had to open my phone voice says. <laughs> so <laughs> it's crying. Because it's symmetrical, couldn't type got an ad. Oh no, too bad. So if you had this, it means from the axis of symmetry if you go plus square root of 149 over 2 you're going to be here so whatever this point is is 7 over 2 plus the square root of 149 over 2 and 0 the point right and this point is this point is 7 over 2 minus the square root of 149 over 2 and 0. So it's basically saying the distance here is the square root of 49, 149 over 2. This distance here is the square root of 149 over 2. And you just ended up graphing a quadratic function. And this is one of the main things in grade 11 in my part of the world that you have to learn. You can't progress into higher level mathematics until you learn how to graph a parabola, right? Unless you're going into statistics, but you still need to know how to graph parabolas. It's one of the core building blocks of progressing into higher level mathematics or anything beyond graphing parabolas, right? Now, I mentioned to you guys that I'm going to show you two different ways of graphing this, right? Let me show you two different ways of graphing this. This is the systematic way of doing it this is what you're what you get taught and it is legit and I highly recommend knowing how to complete the square let me show you the other way the other way is working it backwards the other way is taking this guy finding the x-intercepts taking their average to find the axis of symmetry taking the axis of symmetry plugging in back into the equation finding the y associated with the axis of symmetry so you find the vertex so you work backwards beauty of mathematics one of the most beautiful things about mathematics is whatever you can do you can undo a direction that you can go in to solve something the odds are you can go in the opposite direction and solve for the same thing okay 79 con i was always it was always easier to me to look at such quadratic functions as that plus five what I can read from it is that it is vertically inverted parabola intersecting x-axis uh, 
in zero and seven but it's not shifted up to oh shifted up 25 ah they are always uh, symmetric uh, so to vertex it is the middle between zero uh, and seven 3.5 ah very good very good yes this is the second solution very nice that's a great way of doing it by the way that's a great way of doing it shift it up whoop, 25 right that's I like that I rare I see that rare I see that I'm gonna show you too in a way where we're gonna use the quadratic formula to factor it because the quadratic formula is ridiculously important as well right now take a look at this thing I'm gonna erase all this I'm gonna keep that there okay and remember if you need these for notes you can always take screen caps of them right <laughs> 79 the sleeping fox says you broke me <laughs> one check it out check it out let's take out this guy we don't need the bracket either and this is a negative right negative and that's it uh, let me take out square root of four as well so we've got a clean board so if you want to solve for this you're really just basic math um it is basic you're not using anything as elder god says you're not using anything uh very complicated it's just adding subtracting multiplying dividing yeah but um sixth grade yeah uh, by the way uh sleeping fox learn how to deal with fractions okay if if your school is telling you to use a calculator to do fractions work in decimals learn i don't want to say don't listen to your school you need to do what you would you know you need to still get good marks and stuff like this but learn how to deal with fractions ridiculously important you'll thank us for it later it'll make you be able to do way more complicated mathematics than having a calculator by your side all the time once you learn how to deal with fractions your algebra becomes more powerful okay now one way to do this is we're going to factor this we want to find the x-intercepts now we can't factor this easily so we're just going to use a quadratic formula the quadratic formula says this x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a a b and c what are a b and c it's just a b and c a b and c are this a x squared plus b x plus c so c is your constant b is the coefficient in front of the x and a is the coefficient from the x squared learn their basics then adapt it to your own method later yeah agreed with elder god learn the basics and adapt it to you for yourself later on do schools recommend calculators in sixth grade now they do in my part of the world it's horrendous when i get students what the first thing i get students i i test them to see if they know how to deal with fractions if they don't know how to do negative numbers and fractions if they don't know how to deal with those we hit those up right away i don't care if they're in grade 12 grade 11 or grade 6 fractions key essential right so this becomes this negative b is negative 7. negative 7 plus or minus b squared is going to be 7 squared which is 49 minus 4 times a times c a is negative 1 c is 25 all over 2 times negative 1. so this becomes negative 7 plus or minus square root of 49 4 times 25 is 100 negative and negative is positive plus 100 over negative 2 right now when you have a negative in the bottom and negative here you can just eliminate the negatives they kill each other and these two signs flip right so right now we got negative here plus minus and a negative well if you write these separately this is what it's what it shows right i'm going to do this in one shot so we can save the space right so this is over negative two and that's over negative two negative and negative kills each other 
So that becomes 7 over 2. 7 over 2, ring a bell? That's our axis of symmetry. And the negative here just flips those, which becomes negative and a positive, which is the same thing as a positive and negative. So this thing simplifies to 7 plus or minus square root of 149 over 2. This is our, these are our x-intercepts. We already knew this, right? We got it from before. So if we're going to graph this, here, let's do this. 7 over 2 plus 1 uh, square root of 149 over 2, right? So 7 over 2, if we're going to write this like this, let's write it like this. 7 over 2 plus or minus square root of 149 over 2. So 7 over 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 over 2 is here. That's our axis of symmetry. Right? And you're going to go plus 149 over 2, plus square root of 149 over 2, which puts you here, wherever that number is, and minus, and that put you over here. Too bad it's not, doesn't look as symmetrical as it should, but... And this over here is minus a square root of 149 over 2, right? Well, we already know our axis of symmetry, because if you take the average of this, this just disappears, it becomes 7 over 2. Nice. So all we've got to do now is find what our y value is when x is 7 over 2. So let's plug it in, because that's going to give us whatever the point is here. So find y or f find y when x is equal to 7 over 2. So all we've got to do is just plug 7 over 2 up here. Yeah. So f of 7 over 2 is going to be negative 7 over 2 squared plus 7 times 7 over 2 plus 25. I want to grab a seat so I can reach this stuff better. I had to wait 10 minutes to comment. Did you, uh, Natalie? XO Natalie. Yeah, I think we have a 10 minute for new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, by the way. Oh, sorry. We had some troll actions coming for our math streams and stuff like this. I don't know why people would be trolling math, but they do. <laughs> they, think they're, they think this is a centralized education system, right? So we put a 10 minute uh, timer on it, uh, delay on it. Okay, I hope that's okay. But now that you're, you're following, you can comment as you wish, right? Oh, that's rude. Math trolls, I know. Math trolls. That, you know, it sort of shows you how bad our centralized education system is when people try to troll math. <laughs> like man, you must be bored out of your mind. <laughs> okay, awesome. I'm glad. You, I'm. Uh, I'm glad you like. Uh, you're okay with it, Natalie. Now take a look at this thing. This is negative seven over two squared. Seven over two squared is forty nine over four. So it's negative forty nine over four plus forty nine over two seven times seven over two that's seven over one seven times seven is forty nine over two plus twenty five common denominator is four right so let's go four this becomes negative forty nine plus multiply two by two to give you four so two times forty nine is ninety eight right ninety eight plus and this was over one so that becomes a hundred right oh yes let me join this math streamer and ruin it just because i know <laughs> right crazy lack of caring i've been using my university's library database to download pdf versions of mass philosophy science tech. awesome awesome lack of caring versions i hope you're reading them as well it's okay to data whore and archive the stuff but share right so this becomes negative 49 uh, plus 98 is going to be 49, right? It's going to be 49 plus 100 over 4. So this is going to be 149 over 
four. What was 149 over four? We did it. It was 37 and a quarter, right? So this is 37 and a quarter. I hope it was. Here, let's do it again. Four, 149, right? Four goes into 14 three times, so that's 12. That becomes two, bring the nine down. Seven, seven times four is 28. One, yeah. So 37 and one over four, right? 37 and one over four. That's what we had last time too. So this is here, it's seven over two and 149 over four. That's our, and our Y intercept is 25. So let's put it here. So this is our problem. We just graphed it a different way, all right? Did it require less work? To a certain degree it did, right? We didn't have to complete the square. I mean, just looking at the board, this has less writing in it than the other one, right? And you got the same information out, okay? But completing the square is powerful. It's hard to follow just with audio. I work at the, I work at the, the sometimes. Yeah, with math, it's very difficult to follow with the audio only. You need the visual. You need the visual. Lack of care. Yeah, I want to amass a comprehensive library of the essential fields of study. I was inspired in no small part by your channel so thank oh my pleasure lack of caring and uh, i'm glad you're doing it it's important to have that information at at disposal that you can use right that was beautiful she just starts keep things it was easy well i don't know if it's easy it's you have to have an appreciation of what's going on right it's not mathematics is not about monkey see monkey do it's not about memorization it's about understanding because once you understand it you can drive everything right so that's the key to mathematics gang understand what's going on understand what's happening and you're a master of your universe once you're able to do that right it's beautiful it's beautiful really once you have an appreciation for all this it's man it's like playing a video game and you got the magic sword and you got a sh and in, in invincibility shield <laughs> you can go anywhere do anything you're you're a master of your own universe right it's beautiful it's beautiful and powerful yo chicho want to do a profit function um <laughs> profit function how so <laughs> profit uh, revenue a revenue function we got how much time do we got now ah, we got a little bit of time we could do should i erase this i'm gonna erase this gang just in case if we want to do anything the sleeping fox Whoa. i forget who it was that asked uh, to graph a quadratic but thank you for oh wait oh sleeping fox you can take a screen cap you can on the on the, oh sorry you're gonna ask a question oh no you can ask a question i remember the function should i if you have a question if not uh on the video you can uh what do you call it uh, uh just take a screen cap or screen cap or just you know video on demand just look at it again apologies next time let me know as soon as another question comes up usually i go crazy and delete things pi is equal to negative q squared but that's uh uh that's a quadratic again starsky p uh are we talking about pi like pythagorean theorem pi or pi phi are we talking about just a symbol f of x basically but that's the same that's the same function we do the same things are we talking about this f of x is equal to negative q squared plus 4q plus 12 4q plus 12 i could do it speedy gonzalez style so you can see how fast it goes should do speedy gonzalez style let's do a speedy gonzalez style let me try one of these pens let's see how dark this is 
Can you see that? Well, I'm gonna try this. Watch this. If you want to graph this, Speedy Gonzalez style. Ready? Ready? Well, I'm gonna do completing the square. Bring the negative out. Q squared minus four Q plus twelve. Take the negative four, divide it by two. You get negative two. Square it. You get four. You got negative Q. Negative Q squared minus 4Q plus 4 minus 4 plus 12. Grab the negative 4, bring it out, multiply by negative 1 because in the front, that's a perfect square is that guy. So it's Q minus 2 squared plus 4, which is plus 16. So that's your function, right? And if you're going to graph it, your vertex is 2 and 6, 16. Vertex is 2 and 16. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> 2 and 16. Your y-intercept is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, here's 12. Oh, no, 12 would be up here. If that's 16, here's 12, right? So this is 0 and 12. The mirror would be 4 and 12 because the axis of symmetry is 2, right? You're going to graph it. Whoop, let's make a big dot. You're going to graph it. And we need to find these points, right? Your maximum revenue is 16, I guess, right? Yeah, that's good, okay? Yeah, fair enough. Look at, no, no, let's do it. We're doing the Speedy Gonzalez stuff. We've got time for Speedy Gonzalez. So your maximum revenue, so Q, whatever Q is, whatever the system is, right? Your maximum Q, Speedy Boy, <laughs> maximum revenue, max re revenue, revenue is equal to 16 i'm assuming dollars when x or q when q quantity of the object i guess is equal to 2 and here are your x intercepts and the x intercepts you can just set f of x is equal to 0 0 is equal to negative q minus 2 squared plus 16 grab the positive 16 over negative 16 is equal to negative q minus 2 squared divide by negative 1 so you get 16 is equal to q minus 2 squared square root both sides square root of 16 is plus or minus 4 which is equal to q minus 2 oops grab the 2 bring it over so you got q is equal to 2 plus or minus 4 so q is equal to 2 plus 4 which is equal to 16 and q is equal to 2 minus 4 which is equal to negative 2 so this guy is negative 2 and 0 and this guy is 6 and 0 that's it now remember when we did the completing the square for the for the first function we went through all the little details so it covered a lot more space here right and the numbers were fractions so we had to do a little bit of extra work right but this one seems like not as much work right so depending on the numbers that you have how much work you need to do and how well you know the system how well you know this algorithm because that's all it is it's just an algorithm that's all right and once you understand every little part of the algorithm you can manipulate this thing to your liking and take shortcuts where you want right because you understand what's going on okay i hope that's okay i hope that's good gang should we call the stream should we call the stream let's call the stream tomorrow tomorrow we do reading the next day we do reading comic book readings halloween comic book readings when are our sessions oh, i forget when our reading sessions are in the next two days we're doing comic book readings and the comic book oh i don't want to open that let me tell you when our comic book readings are i'm just going to go to our discord and if you go to our discord uh schedule you'll see the schedule and tomorrow we're doing a comic book reading from 9 30 a.m my time pdt pacific time and on saturday we're doing a comic book reading starting at 11 a.m so we're doing two comic book readings in the next two days and then we're going to do uh two julian assange streams one on monday at 10 a.m and another one on tuesday at 10 a.m 
the comic book readings are going to be Halloween comic book readings. So I'm going to pick some horror comic books, uh, horror and stuff like that uh, to read. I'm going through my comic book uh, collection now. I've been pulling some stuff out. I got, I pulled out too many. So we're going to do most likely modern uh, horror uh, comic book for maybe tomorrow and do golden age horror comic book reading for saturday okay do you like jazz or uh oh and i'm trying to figure out uh times and divisions times too you're trying to figure out i do like jazz jazz is amazing Thanolius monk and uh Thanolius monk is absolutely amazing and some people say nina simone was jazz oh you book i have a halloween party on the 31st nice awesome candy <laughs> thanks for the stream show my pleasure starsky uh take care brother you too you too regarding education system that sucks i wish there was more geometrical proof of basic theorems when i was in i was in school now when i know them they look so simple and beautiful indeed geometric proof of pythagorean theorem beautiful beautiful indeed 79 con uh, and with me too i wish there was more of a lot of things in school i'm off to julian assange stream but i will be there awesome i, I am home for julian awesome elder god i'm looking forward to that i've compiled a fair bit of info i want to go over yeah have a great day you too you too love you no homo for <laughs> indeed that's okay that's okay even the other if it was it's still okay okay love i'll take love any which way okay gang gang if you want to know what this is about i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho i don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative commons share and share alike and my thesis is laid out there and everything's laid on mathematics okay uh if you want to follow this work and see what it's about you can follow without committing any funds and if you do like what you see and if you think this project uh deserves your support you can support this work through patreon and for those who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for your support i appreciate it very much it uh, allows us to do what it is that we are doing we are live streaming on twitch twitch dot uh, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who subscribe to follow it and who are here participating in these live streams in the mod thank you very much for your support we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk part of gap and twitter you can follow the work there uh because we do share some additional information for live streams we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com as podcast soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes my love for chicho is a spiral <laughs> spiritual one awesome oh my god okay bye hope you have a great one you too sleeping fox and good luck in school learn your fractions sleeping fox pay attention know your fractions well okay you know your fractions your master your own domain okay and this video will be uploaded to both BitChute and YouTube. And if you want to support, watch someone else. I <laughs> want watch more. Okay, enjoy it. And if you are on BitChute and YouTube, you want to support this work, you can uh, subscribe, you can follow, you can turn on notifications, share, like. And if you're on YouTube, you can support by joining YouTube membership. Gang, thank you for being here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next couple of days. We got some comic books to read. Bye, everyone. Awesome. Join the discourse if you want. Thank you. My pleasure, gang. Bye, everyone.